Hello, collective. Welcome to the Queen of Pentacles page. I am your host, the Spiritual Assassin, coming back with these messages that from the divine. Remember, I say things like he and she because of the face value of the card. Remember, take what resonate, disregard the rest. And if this video does not resonate with you, I have tons and many other videos that may resonate with you remember time is um fluid so i could be talking about now or the past or the future okay guys so let's go ahead and tap into these messages let's go so i have a knight of swords of energy knight of swords energy somebody could have been running from you um or running from a situation here this could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. They ready to take off from a situation. And I have judgment in the reverse. So someone is not accepting this judgment. Someone um, is refusing to um, uh, follow source or listen to divine knowledge and um, walk away from a situation. Somebody is running away from someone that they caused judgment or they brought judgment to is what I'm picking up. And source was has actually directed this, whatever this was, to end. And someone is now running away from this person because this person will not accept um, judgment. Is what I'm picking up. Yeah, this is the King of Swords right here could be running away from someone. That's a karmic. Is what I'm picking up. Yeah, because your person chose to end a cycle with someone. Your person was divinely guided to walk away from a situation. They was dealing with someone um, and they ended it They ended it with a person, but this person is still lingering around. This person was, uh, was asked by the divine to leave your person alone, but they still haven't. They still holding on. They still clinging on. They still not ready to go is what I'm picking up. That's somebody's situation. I have the six of wands right here. So somebody thought somebody was going to somebody was going to be successful. Um, somebody could have had fame. Somebody was looked up to the community. Um, this person had uh, had fame potential going on here. But someone found out that this particular energy, Aries Leo Sag energy, that they were non-committal with the seven um, with the seven of cups. They could have, they could have had up to seven other people they was dealing with. Also, the Page of Pentacles is here. So somebody um, got with somebody young, teenage, could have um, have had a, what I want to say, personality of a teenager, someone who's, uh, you know, very irresponsible, uh, someone who doesn't think before they speak, uh, someone with young-minded intentions. They don't know any better, but this, they dated someone um, uh, that's basically in childlike behavior is what I'm picking up. Yeah, somebody could have been um, using magic, manifesting, or uh, trying to stop something here, especially working with these moon cycles here with the Eight of Pentacles. So somebody could have been doing magic on your person's money. It could be this young energy, this Page of Pentacles energy. But she got this candle in her hand. She operates with the moon cycles. She uh, could talk, see a witch doctor here. She writes spells. She deal with spells. She do candle magic. She could work with herbs. Is what I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she worked. She did this on the um, emperor energy right here. So what this is telling me that this emperor energy was um, manipulated here. This person was um, getting tricked by a queen of pentacles. I mean, a page of pentacles. And this page of pentacles was non-committal. So he was wanting, wanting to, he was basically being maneuvered by someone that was non-committal so somebody put magic on them to keep them stuck in a situation and that's why they're not leaving because he has already left but they haven't left yet because they thought this magic was gonna work and they still trying to do magic is what i'm picking up your person thought this person was the sun the light and the way to go but yeah, they was also having celebrations here could have been up to three other people that they were celebrating with could have been up to three other females uh, that, that that was having a celebration. It could have been up to three other women that was doing magic on you or this person right here. Hmm. 
There's a queen, what a queen of pentacles. And I just said this not too long ago, a queen of pentacles in the reverse here. So somebody was portraying like they was healed, like they're this mother figure, like they're loving, kind and giving, but they are all the opposites of that. This person is not nurturing. This person is not grounded. This person used um, manipulation, trickery and um, magic in, in mischievous ways to get this emperor stuck um, to them. Uh, yeah, they did. And this person is not a grown doesn't think on a grown woman's level. This person thinks on a child level, a teenage level. So she's with this hocus pocus. Oh, I'm going to make this happen. And it's not going to happen because it's not meant for it to happen. We don't, you don't use magic on people. You use it to protect yourself. Yeah, she did that to, to keep this love affair going on. So she did magic on someone who really didn't love her. She did this to keep them stuck because she wanted these pinnacles confirmation my phone just went off yeah your person could be going in regret dealing having regrets dealing with regrets dealing with this person yeah because they call judgment so they're going through some type of regret here about dealing with this lover that they they chose to uh pick there's a queen of swords here i feel like that he could also be having um nostalgia feelings over you as well this gemini libra aquarius Yes, he's tired of juggling you. He's tried to be juggled, period. I feel like that he's coming back in and he wants to tell you about, uh, uh, wants to commit towards you is what I'm picking up. He's wanna, he's wanna, wanting to tell you about uh, being faithful or not juggling you or because he, he love you, he care for you, he wanna be with you. So he wants to clear the air is what I'm picking up because he see you as the Knight of Wands right here. He see you as very energetic, fun, loving, um, ready to uh, take on the next lead is what I'm picking up. He see that you have direction, that you have ambition and you have courage and you're moving on. And he loved that energy. You could be a Sagittarian, Aries or Sag. I'm Aries, Leo, Sag, who I'm talking to. Yeah. But your person did have to get his heart broke with the three of wands here, the three of swords here. He did get his heart broke, um, possibly found out about a third party situation. We're going to clarify that and we're going to get ready and close out this reading in just a few. Three of Swords. Who is this Three of Swords? What happened with this Three of Swords? So with the Three of Swords, with the Eight of Swords, and a, um, with the Eight of Swords uh, clarifying, somebody felt tied, bound to a situation. Somebody was picking with this, this person's mind right here. They kept them confused um, in a dark place, uh, kept them not knowing what to go or what to do or how to, to handle a situation with the Eight of, um, the eight of Swords. But I see with the Eight of Cups, your person end up walking away from this individual. They see the sun on the other end. So they're going towards this horizon, this sunshine, this enlightenment. They are done. This person can have dreads here. If you look at this photo. Yes. And with the Four of Cups, I have with the Eight of Cups clarifying the Four of Cups, someone could be in hermit mode, somebody went through a heartbreak, somebody went through uh, this wounded warrior um, phase, somebody um, had to fight a battle um, um, of love, of wits, of, of people just not um, caring about them. And they, I feel like this person decided to cut everybody off and decided to go into hermit mode and continue to heal. They're healing from a heartbreak here. If you look at this card, yeah, somebody is most definitely healing from a heartbreak. So what I got is somebody um, could be your energy or your person energy. You have to let me know, but this person could have, you could have went through a heartbreak. They could have went through a heartbreak of some sort. Uh, they found out a third party energy was here. Uh, you didn't know what, uh, which way to go, how you was coming because this person was lying to you so much. And, uh, you, you knew it was the truth and you and you found out the truth once you know because you was unclear at one time obviously this person kept you in your head this person kept telling you lies but you figured out what was going on with the situation and once you found out what was going on with the situation you left and went towards the sun and and you was the, you was the wounded warrior in this process so once you walked away, you start healing, you start um, taking some self-care, self-love, and you start mending your heart back together is what I'm picking up. I have the five of cups here in a reverse. So the five of cups, what I'm looking at is you possibly felt like these cups was wasted, like this love was wasted, this time was wasted. Um, 
that everything that was dealing with the situation was all this, this love was just wasted. But I feel like with the five of cups, I feel like that you took your pain and, and made it into, um, a piece of artwork. Like it, everything that happened to you happened to you for a reason. And you're building off the pain. You're not in grief of the pain. You're not lost with the pain. You're not. Thank you for cl clarifying. <laughs> yeah, you have grown from the pain. You have used your pain for to help you heal. So the same thing that broke you healed you is what I'm picking up. Yeah, I got the seven pinnacles in the reverse. Your pinnacles may be looking kind of low right now. Your person pinnacles may be looking kind of low right now. But your seeds will grow in the near future. So just have patience and hold on. But they will be growing for you. Yeah, what I tell you, because look, the Ace of Pentacles here. You are about to plant some new seeds here. You're about to uh, come across uh, some new business, some new uh, proposal. Pro what I want to say, proposal for some reason. Maybe you're about to write a proposal to get something like a grant or something. Or maybe you're about to get a um, promotion. That's what I was trying to say. So maybe a proposal is going to get accepted and you're going to be able to plant these seeds. And these seeds are going to grow. You may not have any money right now, but you're going to have money. Yeah. Whatever that you're, whatever you have invested in is going to grow for you. It's going to start growing. You you started from the bottom and, and it's going to be, it, you started with a strong foundation here. It's going to work out just fine for you. You just got to wait a little bit longer. But somebody was in a 10 of cups um energy though. Somebody was dealing with a... Someone that, who had a family, but this family is unhappy now. Yeah, this King of Cups. This could be a husband, a boyfriend, a father. You know, this person is a very emotional person. This person could be a Pisces. This person is very calming, nurturing. Yes, I feel like that this person, this King of Cups, was in a um, toxic family. I don't feel like the kids is toxic. The kids ain't toxic, but it's the mate that he was dealing with which could be also a Pisces Scorpio cancer energy. And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. Yes, they are fighting with the Five of Wands energy right here. He is fighting with his spouse. Yes, this Page of Wands, Aries, Aries Leo Sag energy. And like I said before, this person is using magic. She's just throwing his wand up and using it any way and every way that she can. Thank you for confirming. Uh, that she can to keep your person stuck, locked down, and restrained from getting to you. Yeah, this Queen of Wands energy in the reverse, Aries Leo Sag energy. What I tell y'all, ship that manifesting uh, evil, uh, sadistic ass work. I can't make this up. You got the Queen of Wands right here in the reverse, Aries Leo Sag energy. You got the Page of Wands right here. Some more magic being done by this young ass teenage energy. And you have, where is it? Now I'm going to try to show you, show y'all this. And this manifestation card right here. She working with the moon and she got them, got this candle and shit lit. You see all that stuff in the background. She doing that. She did. She, she got, she could, she could have a witch doctor, uh, that she's going to, she could be practicing, um, Santeria, some type of voodoo, Haitian, Obia, you know what I'm saying? Magic on you trying to stop the union from coming. Yeah. Your person thought she was the nine of cups, though. He thought she was a gift. <laughs> yeah, he married this person with the four of wands. They were celebrating. Yeah, he now he found out that she was the devil. Now he knows that she's the devil. Yep. And he thought she was a star, Aquarian energy. And he took a leap of faith with this person. He took a, a leap of faith with the wrong energy. And it put him in a karmic cycle. And... They in it's their inheritance is in an upside down energy right now, so they're losing money. This inheritance is um being dwindled away as we speak. Yeah, he got with this Queen of Cups of uh, somebody who's very emotional, possibly with this karmic energy, manipulate men, um, their energy and their emotions. This is somebody who plays on people's emotions, um, feelings, and um mental is what I'm picking up. Yeah, this person, the magician card, what I tell y'all, they manifested all this magic. They use trickery, magic, and um, what I want to say, um, manipulation to uh, get your person to come towards them when they know that your person's supposed to be coming towards you. Damn. So 
this situation is somebody's situation, not everybody's situation. So we're going to get some Hidden Truth Oracle deck um, to clear out the reading for tonight for my Aries energies. Aries, Aries, Aries. I wish I could share my good news with you. Someone, Somebody wants to share good news with you. This person is saying, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. So what I'm picking up from this is, um, you guys are in separation, of course. Um, he still thinks about you. He loves you. He cares for you. He never wanted to, wanted to let you go. Maybe he was letting the um, community get in the way of um, him tr full, truly falling in love or truly telling his feelings on how he feel about you. And he wants to share some good news with you. You were the best thing in his life. He know that he messed up things. He hid who he really was from you. So let's get into the messages. So yeah, basically what I see is he would, he want to share good news with you. He want to contact you. He want to communicate with you and he know that he never wanted to let you go. But I feel like people was in his ear and he made the wrong decision and went towards the wrong lover is what I'm picking up. And he now realizing that you were the best thing in his life. And he know that he messed up everything. He wishing to have to, to recon reconcile back with you. He really want to talk, talk to you, but I think he feeling like that. Maybe he shouldn't reach out quite yet because he know he fucked up so bad. Yeah. What did it say? I hid who I really am from you. So this person really hid who they really was from you. Yeah, and they regret lying to you. Yeah. And this person says, I wish I had treated you better. So he wish he had treated you better. And I couldn't let you get too close to me. He couldn't let you get too close to him because maybe he was afraid of love. Maybe he didn't know if it was real love. Maybe he, thought, he felt like that somebody was setting him up or whatever the case may be. So he pulled back. But this person is so attracted to you. He is very attracted to you. And he feel like that you're leaving him behind. Maybe you are, you know, graduating, escalating, ascending in life. And he may still be in this dark world. I don't know. But he feel like that you're leaving him. Maybe you just you just doing your own little thing is what I'm picking up. This person can't stop thinking about you. And this person do hide behind material things. And, and somebody is saying, I know we, we both know I'm not the one for you. So somebody saying, you know, I'm not the one for you. Maybe he's selling this to the karmic. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So you could be saying, we don't, we both know I'm not the one for you, or he could be telling the karmic that that's why he's getting at this family dynamic, but he knew that you wasn't to blame that, but he still blamed you. Maybe he, uh, he will come back around and apologize for that. I don't know if, if you're willing to accept that or not, you know, because he does love you. So I feel like that, you know, where your heart resides at, you know, how much, uh, to put in and, and what to accept and what not to accept. And I'm not here to judge, tell anybody to not go towards a twin. If you feel like that, you want to go back towards your twin, then do. If you don't, then don't. That's all I'm going to say about that. And it's time for your person to heal now. Can you clarify? We both know I'm not the one for you, please. Yeah, he said we need to let each other go. He talking to the karmic energy. And I look at you everywhere. He does not pay this person no attention anymore. Any more messages? for well, I look for you anywhere in reverse. The timing just wasn't right for us. So I feel like now he feel like the timing is right now. And he remember every detail of that day. And he replayed y'all conversations over and over again. And I left you before you could leave me. So he left you before you could leave him. Or you could have left him before he could have left you. And you know your situation better than I do. 
He says, so many things remind me of you. It's either he or she, y'all. Shit. <laughs> so it's either it goes both ways. So take it as it resonates. He say, I know you was a distraction from my pain, but it's in the reverse. So I feel like that you have healed from this pain or whatnot. So this person is not a distraction for, for, for you anymore. And this person wants to feel that way again for you. This person doesn't react when people mention your name. So people still talking about you, still got your name in their mouth. So you're still being gossip about, but he doesn't mention your name when they do this. He said, you speak to me through music. Your person speaks to you through music. Um, this individual saying you came closer than anyone. He said, I know that I crossed the line with you. Yeah, he know what he did. He crossed the line, um, especially when he know he loved you, but he chose to go with somebody else to please a community or please people that was around him. He know he was wrong for that. That's why he hide behind material things. He hide behind stuff. Um, uh, so his true emotions don't come out, but one day they're going to have to come out. He's going to have to confront those feelings. Because they're going to eat him up in the inside if he don't. Yeah. He think, he thought or she thought that you guys were too young at one time. And you guys could have been too young. You know what I'm saying? To uh, it, This could be mentally. Not mentally ready to have a commitment or a relationship. Things had to work itself out. Things had to happen in divine time. And this is what I'm picking up. I'm afraid to contact you. So your person is about to contact you. It's in the reverse. So expect a phone call, text message of some sort. And I bury myself in, in work to uh, forget you. This came in the reverse. So your person is starting to open up and understand what this connection is all about is what I'm picking up. So yeah, beautiful energy. And at the bottom of the deck, you love when you you let you could have left when you seen him with someone else, or he loved when he seen you with somebody else. And sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. This person stays up thinking about you at night. So guys, those are the messages I have for my Aries energy. I'll be back for um Taurus energy. Thank you. Talk to you soon.